But you get my point. The people who are doing these drugs aren't even doing anything remarkable when they're on the drugs. They're doing normal stuff. If you cannot generate enough focus in your life to clean your own house and do your own uni work without needing to take a fucking drug to do it, then you're a dickhead. If you're going to take these enhancing drugs, I expect you to do something spectacular when, while on them. I expect spectacular results. I'm not saying don't take them. Modafinil, that's one of them. Modafinil, modafinil, something like that. If you're going to take these drugs, I expect you to come at me with a story. I took it and I could fly through the air like fucking Superman. Fine. I took the drug and I finished my homework. Mm. Finish your homework without the drug, you fucking nerd. Unbelievable. Most of you people lack focus. You lack the ability to focus on one task for anything longer than a little period of time without fucking getting the desire to jerk off. Admit it. You sit at the computer and you're supposed to do your homework and halfway through the fucking homework, you used to load up Pornhub, start stroking your cock like a little nerd. That's your problem. And you think taking this drug will allow you to finish your work so then you can jerk off while on the drug really fast. It's pathetic. I've never taken a drug in my life. I will not alter my brain chemistry. My neurochemistry is obviously perfectly optimized. Obviously. That is clear. I am the pinnacle of human performance, both mentally and physically. So if I'm going to take a drug that's going to alter my neurochemistry, I expect to be able to do something far more fantastic than fucking homework. While we're on the subject of drugs, people also ask me about that ayahuasca shit. What about ayahuasca and you can go down to South America and see the spirit world? <sighs> there is no spirit world, one. Two, I don't want to go to South America. I've been all around the world. I've been to South America for work. It's a shithole. And people are like, oh yeah, but you know, it's not a shithole because of the real cultural experiences. It's a shithole. I don't want to go. And this ayahuasca crap, what it really is, is people trying to find meaning in nothing because they cannot find meaning in something. If I need to test myself and learn about myself, I can enter the cage and fight a man and I can learn everything it takes. I can learn everything I need to know about perseverance and grit and what I'm really made of and my spirituality. I can understand myself. You're too pussy to do that, aren't you? So you'd rather go down to fucking Puerto Rico, drink some brown liquid, throw up all over yourself, and then lie to me about how you saw spirits. It's supposed to be one of those transformative experiences. People say that it changes their life. Oh my God. <laughs> That's how you find meaning in life. I find meaning in life through tests. I test myself right here in the real world. Andrew become a world champion. Andrew become a millionaire. I test myself and I succeed. This is how I learn. You, no, you ain't got the balls to do that. So you go down to fucking, where the fucking Honduras, some shithole and you drink some poison and you throw up and go, I was hallucinating and I saw the spirit world and I learned so much about myself and I, I learned that when I throw up on myself, really inside of my feelings, please, please, please.